The Olympics are often considered one of the world's grandest stages for any athlete. The chance to represent your country is a tremendous honor and opportunity. I can still picture the oiled up flag bearer from Tonga. So memorable. Now winning gold at the Olympics, that takes that honor to another level. Standing at the podium as your national anthem plays, who hasn't dreamed about that? Tennis player Monica Puig did, and better yet, she got to live it. She won Puerto Rico's first ever gold medal and told Max Bredas and Marley Rivera on their One Nacion podcast, it was the most amazing day of her life. Hey, welcome into Maxi Marley, serving sports fans in English. Y Espanol. Hey, uh, it's been good. Look at that. Look at the logo. It looks good. I, know. I mean, we're getting there. We're getting there. What's new with you? Bueno, the, the Olympics, were you watching? Yeah, I watched a lot. Yeah. I watched a lot of Olympics. What's your favorite moment? Well, uh, the 100 meters. You know what my favorite m moment was? The, the oh. South African guy who broke the uh. record on the 400 meters from lane eight. What that, about was, I that was amazing. That was but amazing. My, my favorite moment, and it has, there's just not even a second one, Max. And it's because <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> For the first time ever. Any Olympian coming from Puerto Rico Dale. wins a gold medal, and we have in Maxi Marley the honor, el honor, the pride of Puerto Rico. Hashtag Pika Power, Monica Puig. <laughs> Monica, welcome. Thank you so much for having us. What did it feel like? I mean, are there any words to describe this moment? Well, first off, thank you guys for having me. And I mean, it was just the most amazing day of my life. Um, I still have to pinch myself sometimes to actually like wake up and realize that it actually happened. <laughs> uh, but it's it's just been such an incredible ride. Uh, Monica, my Puerto Rican uh, co-host is glowing <laughs> here, but I just just uh, I did hear uh, <laughs> so, a little birdie told me that you got some Cuban lineage as well. Is that oh, correct? Oh, you have to claim her. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, my dad my dad's side of the family is Cuban, but was uh, but um, lived in Puerto Rico actually. So. I think I'm, I'm leaning a little bit more to the Puerto Rican side than the Cuban. <laughs> That's okay. There we go. Monica, is there any way to tell the audience what does this mean to Puerto Rico? And not only that, the fact that we finally got to hear La Borinquena, the national anthem being played in one of the largest sports stages. Well, I mean, I mean, everybody could see the emotion that I was experiencing when, when our national anthem was going on. Um, I just couldn't start, stop crying. Like, it was, it was the most amazing thing ever. And just to be able to make history in my country was huge. Um, being the first female to win a medal at the Olympics and to be the first ever gold medal for Puerto Rico was, um, was incredible. I mean, for me, uh, I knew that when I had secured a medal, it was, I was already making history, but I wanted to go one step further, and I'm, I'm so glad that I actually did. Very cool. We're seeing uh, some images of you winning the gold medal, and you're, it's back to business for you, part of the tour, getting ready for the U.S. Open uh, later this month in August. So how, is, how are things different for you as you go from your day to day? Well, I mean, the schedule-wise isn't that different. You know, I'm going to the court and, and continuing about my business, uh, practicing hard as usual. But obviously, there's a lot more attention on me now. I realize that the expectations are obviously going to be a lot right. higher. But for me, you know, I'm, I'm just keeping the same mindset, just being as patient with myself as possible and knowing that the results will come. I just need to keep putting the hard work. Well, Monica, we know that we, you only had one career win versus a, a top 10 opponent. And then we know what you did, defeating number one, I'm sorry, number two and number three. I, is there any way that you can tell us how you did that because I, we need some advice. The stacked field. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was it was great because I was actually able to play some of my best tennis all throughout the Olympics. So it shows that I was I was very consistent in every match that I played. But it was just um, you know the whole tournament was just about me being as as poised as possible in some of my biggest moments because it wasn't just about beating one top ten player. It was about going all the way and not getting uh, not being the, the person who upsets somebody and then and then automatically loses after it was uh, really time to prove myself and I'm glad that I did that's that's tremendous and you know yep. what Monica we're very proud of you Puerto Rican and Cuban and all Latinos yep. and sleep well knowing there's probably some young girl in Puerto Rico that has watched that watched you compete and is inspired to do something great and as there well. are other ones that are not so young who are just so incredibly <laughs> proud of you Pika Power, Pika power. <laughs> thank, thank, thank you, you Monica so gracias Monica that was very nice. You should be very proud. I'm trying to be, except that you keep trying to claim this, but it's the first gold medal for any woman and the first one for Puerto Rico. So here we go. All right. Vamos, Puerto Rico. Que viva. Uh, vamos, Maxi Marley, serving sport fans in English. Y español. Puerto Rico's gold 
Via Puig is just one of several territories or countries to win their first ever gold medal at these Rio Olympics. Singapore, Fiji, Kosovo, Vietnam, Jordan, Bahrain, and Ivory Coast all earned their first top prize this summer. All right, if you're looking